Yo, what's up peeps? Matty D here in the black, helping you achieve emotional, financial, and physical well-being and your life coach to help you, uh, you know, recover from your childhood wounds from your parents. So this video today um, is really about, um, hmm, how should I say this? It's more about how to, it's, 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 it's more informational, inspirational on how you can really fix yourself. I don't say fix yourself, but another way to help resolve the issues you have with your parents and there's two articles I post below. Um, one of them is really funny. It's, uh, I think it's written on Vice, the Vice website, from, from a woman who's a comedian. She's uh, Jewish and she had issues with her mother. Um, they actually ended up working on it together because both parties were willing to change. It doesn't happen very often when you're mad at you know your mom or you're mad at your dad or whatever, you know? Um, the other one is, the other one, the other one article I like, takes an introspection into it takes more responsibility it got me thinking because it, it talks about how how you know if you have issues with either one of your parents or both it's because of the fact that you see traits in them that are that are, that, that are within you that you don't like now that one's gonna ruffle some feathers some people are gonna be like what the fuck my parents beat me they're fucked up they're horrible people blah 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 yes that's not right and they're wrong to do so. Let's see, we think he's going on back on. He's my older phone here. Um, it's wrong, but there's traits in them that are within yourself. And the only way that you're gonna find out what those are, um, the guy provides a chart. It, it's, 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 writing a, it's, it's writing a one, you know, the traits that you don't like in them. Two, you know, why I don't like it. And like, I think three, like, you know, how you, how you do it to the people or, or, the, way, or the, way, the, way the, the way that you can change it. And when you do that, it made me think, I'm like, hmm, like, what, what are some things about my mom that she does I don't like that I go, oh, shit, do I do the same thing? And, you know, how can I change that so that, you know, I, I, I'm not getting mad at her so much. And you know what? And both of them end on a good note where, where, well, what am I trying to say? You end up, both the articles arrive arrive at the same goal which is which which is what I try to help my clients do with um you know with them and their parents depending on what your parent did now what your mother or father did now if there are some horrible people who just did some really horrible things I understand if you don't want to talk to me more or accept them for the are but you get, you, you can forgive them. It takes some time easy but you but you can forgive them. But basically both articles got to the point where both people forgave their parents they, more importantly, also, ex well, not more importantly, but also they accept their parents as who they are, can change them, and they love them, you know, in both articles. So they forgave them, they accepted their parents, and loved them, and loved them for who they are. Um, the first one with the daughter and her mother, you know, they actually, she talked about how, how things improved, how they're doing better. The other one, um, the guy doesn't, he don't think, he doesn't talk about what's happened between them. But he, he, he went over and said, like, you know, I love them. This is who they are. So this, this is what they're about. And that's fine. They can be that. And that's a good place to be at. Because when you, when you, I'm telling you from personal experience, when you can get to a point where you can still love love your mom or dad or both parents who you, you know, have, have had a uh, very conflict-filled relationship with and accept them for they are, you have peace about it with really yourself, which is kind of, it's, it's, it's ironic. Your beef really isn't with them, it's with yourself, but you have peace within yourself and them and you feel so much better. And then eventually what you can start doing is you, you, you'll start to look at the good things that they've done and the things, or if, if, if they haven't done anything good, you can, start, you can start to recognize what they've done for you and, and realize, hmm, if I'm gonna give them credit for the bad stuff, I do it to give them, give them credit for good things or, you know, things that they taught me that I may have not understood or liked at that moment in time. But it, but because I did, but because I did that thing X, Y, and Z that I hated, I'm now able to do this and this and this. And you can start acknowledging them from helping out in ways that, you know, in the beginning it sucked. You didn't see how it was going to help you in the future, but now it's made you into who you are and someone that's, you know, that you feel you're more productive, you're better, you're smarter, whatever it is, you know. When you can acknowledge the good that, that the good stuff that they've done for you, you know, in my case, my mom, she, she, she still is there for me, for my cross country races, uh, taking to work, um, I got an accident, you know, give me presents for Christmas. 
I was like, okay, these are moments that I had forgotten about, not on purpose, but when you have issues with either or either parent, you forget about this stuff and you only remember the shit that, that you hate, that sucks. You're like, God damn it, this, this fucks balls. It's, it, it's, it sucks. But when you can resolve all the energy, the anger, the sadness, rejection, all that, it makes room for the for the good stuff, the happiness, the joy, the, the you know, you know, being thankful. All stuff. That stuff comes in and it'll come in naturally on its own without you having to do anything. Because it'll, it'll happen. One day you'll be sitting there going, hmm, my dad wasn't that great, but he did, he did this for me, he did that, and was there. And, oh, actually, I think I remember that. Or my mom, or both. And, you know, it'll come to you naturally. You won't have to do anything. It'll just naturally happen. And you can go, wow. Now, let me say this one caveat. Just because you may have resolved your issues with your parents once you do, that does not mean that they won't make you angry from time to time. It's a human, it's a human game, it's a human relationship. And they're gonna do stuff that'll still make you angry. The difference is, you'll get angry. You'll learn how to how to go over quickly, move on, be like, "Where well, fuck it, love them," and 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 then just be you. But that'll happen. And then you can still, you know, using when I teach you how to use the uh, breathe and release technique, you'll be able to have that stuff not bother you. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Like it, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, and, and you know, especially so share this if you feel someone else gets value from this. And those articles, those I found, their links are below in the description. And uh, yeah, bro, 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 woman, man, whoever you're watching this, you want a free coaching session here? Um, you can get it. There's a free video series you can find also in the description below. Um, talk some more about resolving parent issues. And through that, you can get a free coaching session with me. So hope, hope to hear from you, work with you. And as I always say, get in the black. Peace.